we hope you enjoyed the Spectrum Analysis Lab. Let's take a look at some of the concepts you've learned. You now know that the electromagnetic spectrum indicates the wavelength of the radiation given off by an object. Let's take a closer look at the characteristics of the spectrum and how it applies to us. We'll begin by explaining what creates the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is made up of tiny particles of energy called photons. These photons travel at the speed of light in wave-like patterns. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all electromagnetic radiation waves. The spectrum ranges from radio waves to gamma waves, with radio waves having the longest wavelength and gamma waves having the shortest wavelength. Most types of radiation that can be seen in the spectrum aren't harmful to us. However, high levels of microwaves, infrared, or gamma waves can cause serious physical damage. Radio waves have many useful applications. First of all, when you turn on the radio in your car, you're hearing a transmission being transported via radio waves. Radio waves are also used in telescopes. The telescopes are massive dishes made out of conducting metal that reflect radio waves to a focus point. Microwaves are used in radar. Radar was first developed to detect objects and determine their position by transmitting short bursts of microwaves. Because these types of waves can penetrate haze, light rain, snow, clouds, and smoke, satellites in space use them to capture images of Earth. The easiest type of radiation to detect is visible light. Visible light is the only wave on the electromagnetic spectrum we can actually see. When we look at an object, we see the color that is being reflected from it, while all other colors are being absorbed. Visible light allows us to see the world in color instead of just light and dark. The last type of radiation that we'll discuss is gamma rays. Gamma rays have the shortest wavelength and consequently the highest frequency on the electromagnetic spectrum. They are the most harmful of all types of radiation on the spectrum. However, fortunately for us, our atmosphere absorbs almost all gamma radiation. Even though gamma rays are extremely dangerous, they still have uses here on Earth. One of the more noticeable applications is in the production of nuclear weapons, specifically the atomic bomb. Gamma rays are also used in small doses to treat cancer, assist miners and surveyors looking for minerals, and to remove bacteria from medical equipment. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you better understand the electromagnetic spectrum and some characteristics of the types of waves it includes.